If you're struggling to figure out what cover size to do for your paperback or hardcover and how to figure out the dimensions, then this video should be helpful. So first, just Google KDP cover size calculator, and it should be this first one that pops up here. Now, this is for paperback and hardcovers, and this is going to give you the dimensions on what your cover needs to be when you upload it to KDP. If you're struggling to figure out what size to do for your book, then I recommend looking at your competitors and kind of getting an idea of what's selling, what's not, and what's popular in the niche that you're in and go from there. But ultimately, it's completely up to you what size you'd like to do for a cover or a book. So for binding type, you just select what you're doing. So for example, let's do a paperback. I would just select paperback. For interior type, this is going to vary depending on your book. So if you have black and white, which means it's not going to have any color at all, then select black and white. If you have color, but it doesn't really need to pop, it's just a few designs here and there that don't really have a huge impact on the book, then I would do a standard color. For premium color, this would be for like full page designs, colors that you really want to pop and stand out, or a book where having color is really important. This is just my opinion on what I would select. So let's just do black and white. For paper type, you can do cream or white. Let's select white. I don't see many people choose cream for the most part, but I mostly do low content books, so maybe it's different for high content. For page turn direction, now this is where it gets confusing. So normally, at least in the US, we would read right to left, which I think this is probably what everyone does, but I don't really know. Um, but we're actually going to select left to right. And now that probably seems a little bit weird, um, but the reason for that is that when you upload your KDP cover, the left side is going to have the barcode and the right side will be your title or like the front cover. And if you select right to left, it actually swaps that. So we want left to right because that's how KDP requires us to upload the book. Um, for measurement units, whatever you have is great. I normally do inches. You could do a custom trim size right here and then it'll let you put it in or you can just select one. So we'll do a common uh, six by nine is kind of a common size. For page count, it kind of tells you if you do an amount not allowed, so you can't do one. It says page count must be between 24 and 830. And if you change it to hardcover, I believe actually the numbers change. So if I do, let's see, let's just do um, six by nine again, but there's also different sizes. So hardcover doesn't have as many sizes as paperback. Page count must be between 76 and 550. So just keep that in mind when creating your book that you want the size to be available and you want to have enough pages. So let's just do, um, we'll do like 80. And then you just hit calculate dimensions. So it brings up all the dimensions that you could possibly need as well as an option to download the template here. So see how the barcode's on the left side? That's how KDP is going to be uploading it. And KDP will automatically add the barcode so you don't have to worry about it, but this is what the template is going to look like. And if you want to add your own barcode, you can. And there's an option to select that when uploading your book. So the dimensions you want for your cover is going to be this full cover, the 12.43 by 9.25. This is what you would input when you're creating your cover, whether you're using Canva or some other platform. Those are the dimensions that you're going to want for your cover. So make sure that you either type it in correctly or copy and paste and that you have everything on the left hand side here correct and you can adjust it and figure out what you want to do for your actual book. But I hope this is helpful if you're struggling to figure out the cover dimensions and now um, I really hope that this is beneficial and I'm going to have the description like in the description below I'll have a link to the calculator in case you want to try it out yourself. So I hope this was helpful and I hope that you have a great day.